Good morning everybody, I'm Logan and today I'm going to be taking you along with me here on Brian's farm. So to start off today we're going to wash potatoes. Now as you've seen in my previous videos, we harvested all these potatoes about two weeks ago, but now we have them in bins. So we're going to either bag them, which is what we've already been doing for the past couple weeks, or we're going to wash them. Now it's starting to get too cold to wash potatoes, especially when it gets below freezing, our washers just want to kind of freeze up and they don't want to move real well. So that's why we just resort to bagging. But these next two days are going to be between 40 and 50 degrees. So that's perfect time. We're going to wash a ton of potatoes and then store them here in our cooler. So this is what our washers look like. We'll start off by putting our produce on the belt here, which will then run into the washer where it will roll on these brushes and get sprayed by four rows of water. Then after it runs all the way through here, there's rollers all down under here. It'll come out onto these sponges where we'll dry them off, or dry them off pretty well, and then come onto the round table where we'll pack them either in baskets or crates. These are the half bushel baskets we put them in, right here, or these bushel crates, like this. It's hunting season now, we want Daisy to be safe. We have to put an orange vest on her so that no hunters mistake her at all for a deer or a coyote. So we did have three pepper bushes left on the van. And instead of just throwing them away, I'm actually gonna pick all these off and my pap's gonna put them in the dehydrator. That way him and my dad can eat them all winter and even into next summer and spring. I just do not like hot peppers at all. So basically the only ones in my family that can handle something this hot is my dad and Pat.
they've actually kind of started to dry themselves out. You can see they're not going bad at all, but they're starting to get a little bit shriveled. But that's actually exactly what they're supposed to do. They'll get hard and crunchy, and then you can just crumble them up and put them right on your food, whatever you're going to eat that you'd like it on. So we were going to move back into washing the white potatoes, but my mom called and said she needed some greens for the wreaths. So me and dad had to come out and cut some trees down. Huh. You push all the way down? Just one click off. Yeah, you gotta go, you gotta go two clicks down. For choke. Are you ready? So we got a 14 foot tree picked out. This is gonna go out in front of our market. Okay, well no, we're gonna let it go down. Okay, then we're just gonna take the butt that way. Cause we're gonna, if we go up with it, we're gonna ruin that little tree there. So we're gonna let it come this way. Hopefully it don't do too much damage. We're gonna take the butt and go that way. All right. Pretty good. good. So we just got done, we're all loaded up. We got one 14 footer or maybe even 16 footer for in front of the market. And then maybe like another 12 footer and then an eight footer in the back of the truck here. So we still have two partial trees from last time we got. We have this new one here. This big one over here is gonna go in the front yard on the wagon. 
for decoration. This one will be for my mom to make reeds. And then these are what it looks like when she's done with them. Which they'll go out to my cousin's goats and then they'll eat all the needles and even the bark off of it. see the washer starting to slow down a little bit that's just because it's getting later now in the day and the temperature's starting to drop it's really slowing down now oh really wow i thought it was going to warm up oh boy i had the heat gun the other day and i held it here for five minutes and it turned like a fish i needed to bury it up in the front So we just got done washing potatoes. We got 15 crates of each. They're bushel crates. These potatoes here are a yellow Norwes potato. And these reds are a dark red Norlin. So now after these dry off, we'll push them in the cooler so that they don't freeze. And then my mom can bag them in 10 pound bags for our farm market. So now that potatoes are done, I think I'm gonna call it a wrap this video. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. And if you haven't already, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And always remember, it ain't much, but it's honest work.